Hey guys, what's going on? It's I touch stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and today there was a bunch of new jailbreaks released to the public, including Red Snow, Ponage Tool, and Snow Breeze. So this is Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9, Ponage Tool 4.3, and Snow Breeze 2.5. So uh, Red Snow does support both Windows and Mac, as you can see there's two download links, that's why I'm using this, and Ponage Tool only supports Mac, and uh, Red Snow only, su um, not Red Snow, Snow Breeze only supports Windows. So this is why I'm doing this tutorial with Red Snow, because it's the easiest to do, it has support for both operating systems, and this is an untethered jailbreak for all devices except the iPad 2. So uh, still no um, untethered jailbreak for the iPad 2. And uh, so this is going to work all devices, that being the iPhone 4, 3GS, 3G, iPad, and all iPod Touches. And this needs iTunes 10.2.1 for Windows or Mac, and we will be using Red Snow once again. So at this Redmond Pie link, you'll find four downloads here. Make sure you have iTunes 10.2.1. I'm going to go ahead and verify that I'm on that right now. iTunes, about iTunes. iTunes 10.2.1. You can easily go and upgrade this. Um, by I think it's going to iTunes and check for updates right here it'll check for updates and you can see 10.2.1 is the current version and I can see that I have to upgrade to 4.3.1 but I'm going to click cancel because I'm going to upgrade to this firmware a custom way which I always like to do and it's always best to do it this way so first off you want to go ahead head to this link if you're not on a clean iOS 4.3.1 then you want to upgrade to it and you will need the actual 4.3.1 IPSW file so you will need to download this anyway and if you're not on 4.3.1 I'll show you how to restore to it after downloading this file so you want to go ahead click on download Download. Select your supported device, iPod Touch 4G. Save the file. I already have it saved. Once you have your file saved, you can go into iTunes and you want to hit the Option key on Mac. I think it's the Shift key on Windows. Hit the Update button and then, uh, or actually not the Update button, Restore button. And then you can go and browse for your custom firmware. Not custom, but uh, your firmware. And mine is in here iPod 4, 1, 4.3.1. Choose Restore. And now my iPod is going to restore to that firmware. So that is very nice. And once that's all done, I'm going to come back to you guys. Okay, so my iPod is all done here. You can see it's booting up down in the bottom right hand corner of this video. And now we're going to go ahead and jailbreak this thing. So on my computer, we're going to go to Firefox, go back to that link once again and we're going to click the download for Red Snow. For me it's going to be Mac, so you're going to click on that, the download button, and click here to download your attachment. Save the file, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It's saved in less than a second. I'm going to go to Finder, and I'm going to go browse for this thing. I'm going to double click to unzip it, move the zip file to the trash, double click on this, take the Red Snow, move it into your applications. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to do it. And once that is all done, I'm going to go ahead and open up Red Snow. I'm going to go ahead, double click on Red Snow, making sure that my iPod is plugged into my computer via USB. And we can go ahead, quit out of Finder, hide our Firefox, and it says, Welcome to Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. Click Browse, find your IPSW file. I have mine in my downloads folder once again. And it is iPod 4, 1, 4.3.1 open IPSW successfully identified and the best thing about this is that we don't need any firmware bundles for this um, so that's nice we don't have to go searching for those online alright so now at this page uh, you want to go ahead and select all the things that you want I recommend just having install city checked and enable battery percentage we're not going to need to worry about just boot tethered right now or just boot enter DF pwn dfu mode right now because uh, this is an untethered jailbreak meaning we don't have to go through all of this um, uh, booting up stuff that doesn't work and just hit the next button and it says please make sure your device is both turned off and plugged in so I'm gonna go ahead here turn my device off slide to power off I'm gonna go ahead and get my fingers ready on this and I'm gonna click the next button right about now and hold down the home and power release the power button just hold the home button
waiting for iPod Touch 4G exploiting with Lime Rain. And you can see I didn't get it right. Uh, I actually didn't read the first step. But it's okay. If you get something close to it, most likely it'll pick it up. It'll still go into DFE mode um, and everything will be okay. And if not, you'll get a chance to redo it. It's real simple. And you can see the script and everything is just running on my iPod. It says done. We can go ahead, click the finish button and uh, Red Snow will close out and we can just wait for my iPod to go ahead and boot back up. Alright, so we can see here it says slide to unlock. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over and uh, we can see we have Cydia. Way to go. We have Cydia. Let's go ahead open this thing up. Preparing file system. I'm going to go ahead again. I always forget that step. I have to connect to my Wi-Fi. But there we go. I'm now connected. It's going to prepare the file system and it will exit when complete. And let's get back into it. Slide to unlock. Cydia. I'm going to go ahead and choose developer because you do get some more options here. Um, some packages do show up that you normally wouldn't show up if you chose the user option. Alright, so you can see Cydia is fully working. I'm going to go ahead here, click on changes. You can see I have, have all the recent stuff here. Manage sources. Uh, you can see I have all the default sources. Big Boss, Mob My Eye, Repo 666, which is just for unlocks. Again, do not upgrade to 4.3.1 if you do rely on unlock because this will not be unlocked um, for a little bit. So 4.3.1, stay away from this if you do rely on an iPhone unlock. Uh, you can also see I have the default Sorex source and Zio, DTTD, and Mac City. And that is the whole untethered jailbreak, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick boot back up test for you guys. So, slide to power off. Power this thing back on. And we should see that Cydia works. Okay, so let's slide to unlock. Open up Cydia. And there we go. No crashing, no nothing. This thing works like a charm. The untethered iOS 4.3.1 jailbreak uh, using Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. You can also use Ponage Tool 4.3 or Snow Breeze 2.5. I don't recommend either of them because both of them require an extra restore process, unlike Red Snow, which is just straightforward. It jailbreaks, no extra restore. So, uh, and it also works on both operating systems. So that's great to know. Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. Check it out. It's been I touch stuff here. That's what with the zero. Make sure you subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.